Next speaker, we have Alicia Sachs from Com Community Supported Agriculture, talking about CSAs here in San Diego. Please give a warm welcome to Alicia Sachs. Yeah. Hi, everybody. It's great to be here. Can you hear me all right? Yeah. Okay. How many people know what a CSA is? Show of hands. Okay, of those people, how many people belong to a CSA? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, seven people. CSAs are com community supported agriculture. It means that you're absolutely working with a local organic farmer. San Diego has more CSAs than any other county in the uh, country because of our weather. Most of them are fruit farms. Some are not organic, some are. I showed you these two tote boxes. That big tote box costs $30 for the box. It is filled with organic produce that was picked one or two days before, oh, thank you, one or two days before I picked it up at the North Park Farmer's Market. I live alone, so I get that big box, but I get it, get it every other week. I don't eat meat. That box cost me $15 a week for organic produce that was picked one or two days by my farmer. I know my farmer. I don't work for my CSA. I am a consumer. And I ask my CSA for brochures because I want people to know this is a natural constituency for organic produce. There are other places you can buy organic produce, but if you're buying organic produce at Ralph's or I don't ever go to these stores, I don't even know what they're called, Albertsons, thank you, and other stores like that, and Sprouts even, you are not dealing with your local farmer. Even in farmers markets, you have to be careful. NBC LA did an investigative report on farmers markets in the LA area. And they found out that some of the farmers markets that are represented there are not, they don't even have a farm. They don't have land. You have to ask your booth at the farmers market, where is their farm? How do they deal with pets? How do they deal with the food? Can you visit them? Can you do a farm tour? This is my second CSA. The first CSA I went to had lots of fruit. And I don't want a lot of fruit in my diet. I want more vegetables. I, can you hear me now? Okay. Oh, this is, I hope I haven't missed too many people. Okay. Um, my first CSA that I became a member of, I bought a trial subscription and it was mostly veg uh, fruits. I want my diet more with vegetables. Woo! So I found another CSA. So this is the CSA I belong to. It's called JR Organics. They're all over the place. They're in most farmers markets. Once a year they have farm tours. They give about maybe three or four farm tours and you go for a picnic and you have lunch and you meet the farmers and you take a tour, you see the compost pile, you see how they're growing everything. This is direct buying from your, mar your local farmer. Now, it doesn't work for everybody because I don't have a choice of what I'm getting in my box, but because I pick it up at North Park and they have a farm stand there, I can trade out two items. But if they have a drop-off point in a neighborhood that they're not there, they're just dropping off the boxes. You can't trade things out. Maybe you can trade you can trade things with a neighbor. Maybe it won't work for you, but shop farmers markets, shop peoples, OB peoples, because they're very conscientious. And you know what? You become a better cook. Because I get stuff I don't even know what it is. <laughs> And what I did, they send you an email a couple of days before and they tell you what you're getting. But some of them, I can't even pronounce it, so I'm not even going to tell you. But it's really nice looking. And I taste it. And if it tastes really good, I can put it in a salad or a smoothie. 
if it tastes like, oh, I gotta do something with it, I might cook it up and make something. And I get beans and I have to shell the beans. I mean, who shells beans? I do. And it's so relaxing. You know what? You can't be on your computer and shell beans. You can't make a phone call. You can't make a phone call. You can, you can listen to the radio. You can talk to friends and neighbors. But you're really calm and quiet and it's meditative. So I'm shelling beans sometimes. Not often, but sometimes. So I highly recommend that you look into CSAs. You can look at different boxes. You can see what works for you. And if you can't do that, go to People's. Go to Whole Foods and make sure it's organic. And Jimbo's is coming, and they actually say the farmer on their, their signs. So please, I have literature for everyone. And if you want some literature, it tells you about the CSA I belong to, but it gives you an idea of what you can do. And I hope, I hope you people will please Think about eating really organic food. Don't buy organic food in the supermarkets because it may not be and it probably isn't. And it's taken a lot of energy to get it there because it's coming from all over. And please, try to make a smaller footprint. And I'm just a consumer. That's all I am. Thank you. You know, Bill Gates has a seed bank, and honestly, seeds are worth more than money, because out of seeds, we could grow food. We can't eat money. Woo! So up next, we have Liz Myers Chamberlain. She's going to sing a song called Real Pure Food. Yeah. 